What up, Melvin7 here. Marquee matchups are out. Another Team of the Week pack for completing the set. The first one we've got is Benfica versus Sporting. And uh, you need one of those players. And then don't go with the Portuguese league. I have with the strikers just to kind of give perfect chemistry to the two midfielders I've got there. Go with a different league. I've went with the Russian league because a lot of the Portuguese league players will have went up purely because everyone will be doing it that way. So yeah, you need a 79 rated team. It's not very hard. Next one, we've got PSV versus Ajax. You need a full area divisi team. So this will probably be through the roof. And uh, yeah, you need three PSV or Ajax players. So I've got a mix there. I think I've got two PSV and one Ajax player. Uh, I think you only need a 76 rated team. So I mean, that's going to be overpriced purely because the area divisi players will be getting price fixed because of the team of the week pack you can get. This might be expensive as well. Aston Villa and Birmingham players, you need two. Uh, either or so I've went with Aston Villa I've got two Villa players and then filled it up with championship players for the rest of it uh, you could section it off and go with a different league but it does need to be 70 rated so it's up to you what you do with that one and then the last one Real Madrid versus Barcelona full La Liga squad two Real Madrid two Barcelona players 81 rated fairly easy but again might be quite expensive because of the the Low, like the mid-range Barcelona and Real Madrid players will probably be getting price fixed. So we'll submit that for a 15k pack and then for completing the set of course we get a team of the week pack. Now I'm not entirely sure who's actually in the team of the week. I've completely forgot. I know Herrera is for his uh, unbelievable performance against Chelsea. Kind of good he got an in, uh, got an in form uh, because he could have got a team of the season most consistent but now because he's in uh, got an in form he can't. So yeah, um, I wouldn't mind getting that and obviously any of the walkout informs, whatever they are. I think there's four or five um, off the top of my head I really can't remember. I remember Leno seeing him on the bench, but there's there's better players. I think, um, wait, did I really can't remember. I'll have a look at the team of the week before I open the team of the week pack, but the silver pack gave us nothing quite uh, expected there. 15k pack doesn't look as though it's gave us anything. I'm just waiting for that Team of the Week pack. That would be really, really good if we could get a walkout or Herrera or um, anyone else that goes for value. I'll have a look at the Team of the Week after this. Uh, after these three packs have been opened. Well, it's two now. Uh, we'll open the Electrum, uh, the Electrum pack. Last time we did this, we actually got a walkout in the Electrum pack and not the Team of the Week pack. So, um, yeah, hopefully the reverse happens now because we haven't had a walkout in the Electrum pack. And yet again, the servers are being garbage. Nothing uh, changed there. We get Baines and Bellerin. That's not actually a bad pack. Uh, these players might go for something. I'm just going to discard them. I don't really play FIFA anymore at the minute. Like, I'm waiting for Team of the Season. I do SPCs, and that's about it, really. Like I don't really touch this game anymore. Um, so, yeah, I will during Team of the Season, though. Uh, when that comes out, which should be towards the end of this month or early next month. Uh, hopefully, uh, I was going to say they don't start with Team of the Season most consistent, but they probably will because the voting for that is already starting. Right, let's see the Team of the Week. Let's see who's in it. I think there's five walkouts, if I remember correctly. Right. So we've got Isco, wouldn't mind Carrasco, uh, Di Maria, De Bruyne. I was going to say De Bruyne, but for some reason I, I didn't think he had one, even though I did think he had one. Anyway, Socrates and Leno, so seven walkouts. Wouldn't mind getting Shakiri, Promise, uh, Jonas, Company, Herrera. You know, there's a lot of really good players. The players I wouldn't want, value-wise, Tovan. He looks like a really good card, but he won't go for anything. Siri. Again, looks like a good card. We've got Zapata, though, uh, Trap, and anyone else, uh, bar the players that I've named. So we've got about a 50-50 chance of getting someone that I want. If it's a walkout, then, yeah, obviously, well, De Bruyne's a right mid, so he might not actually go for that uh, that much. But we'll see. See if we can get a walkout. It's not a walkout. Be Herrera, please, or promise. Oh, it's Shikiri. You know what? That's very, very good. I'm happy with that. That's definitely the best thing we've had from Marquee matchups for absolutely ages. That is a really, really good pull. He probably won't go for a lot at the minute because everyone will be pulling him. Yeah, look at this. Like he, he'll be down a. Oh wow, he's not... what? Yeah, loads of people are getting him in this. So I don't know whether to hang on to him. 
Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna list him. Like he's a really really good card, but I got a feeling because Team of the Season's right around the corner, he's never gonna hold his value. So I'll I'll sell him for one two two. But that's very very good. That's the best thing we've had from Marky matchups for absolutely ages. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.